In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All my hope on God is founded. Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. All my hope on God is founded. Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. Real hope. It's on God. And not on the other stuff. Appropriately, Jesus points out the hypocrisy of hoping on everything else. And we ignore him because we don't have time for the word. I'll try to give it to you anyway today. Father, into your hands. Wow. <laughs> Gonna be like that. Father, Good morning, Redeemer. Good afternoon, Redeemer. Good afternoon, good evening, Redeemer. Good night, Redeemer. Good day, Redeemer. Father, church, we better wake up because false hopes have crippled you, have gotten you, and held you tight. False hopes, false hopes that have you thinking you're okay and they're lies. They inundate you. They come on your phone. They come on your email. They come on media. And they're false and they're liars. They have you trusting in money. Trusting in people. Oh, if we could just get this person elected, everything's going to be better. How many times have you heard that lie? Nothing's changed. It just gets worse. It gets worse when our hope is not founded in God. All my hope in God is founded. Not myself. Not my own ingenuity. Not my good looks. Not my experience. Vain hopes. Mortal hopes. Always, always, always disappoint you. the worst disappointment you have in your life is when you hope for something and it don't come about. That's the worst. That's the letdown, isn't it? You thought it was going to be better. You thought you could make it better. You thought the medicine would help. You thought the surgery would be successful. You thought the new job would open up the opportunity. You thought this relationship would help you. And then what happens? The hope gets dashed. And reality sets in. And you begin to recognize the people in whom you've trusted are idiots. And the people on whom you relied are hypocrites. And you begin to understand 
that faith in anything else but God fails. Hence Jesus' words today. You think I've come to bring peace? Shining happy people holding hands. Come on, folks. I've not come to bring peace. My message is peace. But you know what that message is going to bring? Division. It's going to show that even households can't get along. You're waiting for that day when everybody in your house gets along, aren't you? Oh, if only we could just all get along and can't we all just eat spare ribs together and just we can't we just sort of kind of maybe sort of maybe quit it, folks. It ain't going to happen. Especially when that house is not united in God, in his promise. If it's about saving your own behind, protecting your own reputation, making yourself look good, it's going to fail you. It will fail you badly, miserably. But if all my hope on God is founded, Lord, keep us steadfast in your word, then when we pray, Father, Father, then, then and only then, in true submission and recognizing that somebody else actually got this gig better than I do, somebody else has a plan that's bigger than my plan, and somebody else is more merciful and gracious and slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love more than I can ever be, then everything changes. For by faith in God, Abraham was not afraid to put his son on the altar and get ready to sacrifice his life. By faith in God, you can face the edge of the sword and survive. By faith in God, you can go through the fiery furnace and not be burned. With faith in God, you can shut the mouths of lions. With faith in God, as described by the writer of the Hebrews today, even the dead can be raised. But not by might and not by my power, but by God's spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. That's why the Vacation Bible School theme this year is, I've got this with Jesus. You know why? Because if I've got this without Jesus, guess what? I don't got this. Look around. Got a whole bunch of clowns running around the world today get, trying to get it without Jesus. Look at them. Only an idiot hides public documents in boxes in a home thinking nobody's going to find out. Vain glory goes nowhere. Only faith. Faith in the one who chose to suffer. Faith in the one who said, it's not over even when I go to the cross. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. It is finished, but honey, it ain't over. That one endured the cross for you. That one despised the shame for you. That one went to the grave for you. That one rose from the dead for you. And that one is Jesus. And baby, I got this with Jesus. And if I got this with Jesus, I take on all of it. Endure the pain. Endure the loss. Endure the suffering. Because my hope is not going to be that things are going to get better. That's vain hope. Look around. <laughs> things are going to get better. Things are going to get, don't, well, things are going to get better. Lies. Talking about. What? 
to make it worse. But don't be afraid. I got this with Jesus. Hello? <laughs> Things will get worse. Don't be afraid. I got this with Jesus. Life's going to get more difficult. Don't be afraid. I got this with Jesus. Family members are not going to get along. Don't worry. I got this with Jesus. Sickness is going to come in your body. Don't you be afraid. I got this with Jesus. You're baptized into his name. Nobody can take that from you. You've been called out of darkness into light, redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb. My friends, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and son against father and mother against daughter. These are the times. This is what it is, folks. Wake up. This is it. You have arrived. But don't be afraid. You hear me? Don't be afraid. You hear me? Don't you realize who has you? Don't you remember on whose team you're playing? The valiant one fights by your side with weapons of the spirit? You think it can't be won? You think there is no answer? You think there is no hope? Forget it, folks. That's earthly hope. All my hope on God is founded. God and God alone. They can have all the rest. I don't need the rest anyway. All the rest does is disappoint me. All the rest does is fail me at every time. You can't even trust people to tell the truth. They'll lie under oath. But you can trust every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen? Every single promise of God is yes in Jesus Christ. Yes is his word to you. Covered in his blood. He says, eat me, drink me, come to my altar today. Receive the gift today and walk on out of here saying, I've got this with Jesus. So much of our disappointment is that we set ourselves up for disappointment. You got those loved ones in your life who've never done it right. Loved ones who've always been failures. You know who they are. I know their names are going through your mind right now. Stop waiting for them to change. You change. Your focus. You move your faith in God. Therefore, surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and every sin that clings so closely, every vain hope that doesn't ever go anywhere. Get rid of it. And pray, Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. I pray this week, as Vacation Bible School 2022 begins at Redeemer Evangelical Lutheran Church in the Bronx, as folks join us in person, as folks join us on Zoom, that God's life-saving word may go forth in a powerful way from this place as it may go forth in a powerful way from every single church everywhere that believes that Jesus is Lord. And reclaim people's hopes. People have given up on hope because they think that hope disappoints. Hope does not disappoint us 
when God's love has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Pastor is talking to your negativity today. I'm challenging you. I'm getting under your skin and in your face. The false hopes go nowhere. Give them no credence anymore. And know that all your hope on God is founded. Who can all your trust renew? All of it. I'm not looking for incremental improvements. I'm talking about complete and total reformation. God can do it. And he is. He already is. For as the prophet, the weeping one, Jeremiah, reminded us in today's first reading, there'll be many prophets saying whatever it is they want to say. Some of them are a lot more popular than I am. Most of them are better looking than I am. I know all of them are richer than I am. But you can always find some idiot to tell you something you want to hear. That's why God gave you 900 channels on cable. You can always find some idiot to say what you want. How about hear what God has to say? How about recognize that he's the one who's in charge? How about saying, I've got this with Jesus. I'm not afraid. I'm not going to be afraid anymore. No more. No mess. Only Jesus. Waiting around for those family members to act properly. They're not going to. That's why God gave you caller ID. That's why you know when they're calling. And identify it. Yep. Here's a drain calling. Put your hope there. Once an addict, always an addict with some of these types. You know what I'm talking about, folks. I'm just saying it like it is. Okay? Once a user, always a user. You know what I'm talking about. And if that's the case, forget that hope. That goes nowhere. Because the battle's over your heart, over you. It's on you. And the enemy wants you. He can't have you. You're God's property. You're already spoken for. And all your hope on him is founded. You eat his body. You drink his blood. You become what you receive. Forgiveness, life, and salvation is already yours. And you stand with a great cloud of people who've gone before you, who've endured it, who've suffered in it, who've questioned, who've fallen, who've cried, who've sighed, who've died, but who still stand victorious in Jesus with you. I don't got this thing called life. And I don't get this thing called life. But I've got this with Jesus. And I know it'll divide families and nations and people and folk. I'm not afraid of that anymore. They get divided when their underwear doesn't get washed properly and their ice cream flavor isn't in the store. They all get divided. Talk about that anymore, please. No, no, no. Instead, all my hope on God is founded. I wait for his return, knowing that when he comes back, he's going to restore creation. I know that all those things that have been separated will be united again in him. I know that in him and through him will be all things for his glory and praise. All my hope on God is founded. Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. Lord, keep us steadfast in 
your word 